filters, filters for your HVAC equipment. What a confusing conundrum. Um, filters are confusing. Uh, a lot of times customers are confused about what they can put in their system. And many times the professional that might be at your house, it's a high likelihood he may not fully understand what filters can be put in your system. Um, I promise you anyone from DHART has a full understanding of how this works. But a lot of times you get misinformation from many different directions. So here is the truths behind filters. The vast majority of HVAC systems in residential homes are not sized right. Either the duct work is too small or the HVAC system is too large, pushing too much air through the system that the duct work just can't handle. Um, when that happens, which is most of the time, you cannot put in a restrictive filter in your home. Because what happens, if you put in an allergen filter, those have very small pores that allows only air to go through, and then that small pore is capturing whatever's larger then that air passing through it and it's filtering out that from the air. But often what happens is we end up slowing down how much air can actually travel through your HVAC system. And by doing that, your HVAC system works much harder, has longer run times, it's far less efficient, and you're gonna kill the longevity of your equipment. So, for example, we, in our regular maintenance of your furnace or your air conditioner, we test something called static pressure. We know what the air flow is going through your system. So we can instantly tell whether or not your system can handle a more restrictive filter. Um, the answer is most of the time, no. If you're putting an allergen filter in your HVAC system, there is a strong likelihood that if we show up and service it, we're going to tell you that this filter is way too restrictive, it's choking your airflow, and it's ruining the efficiency of your HVAC system. Um, so when we perform a maintenance, we install these. Now, I've been accused by some customers for being a cheap ass. Anyone that knows me knows that that is far from the truth. I want quality. This may not be that fancy allergen filter that you so desire, but this simple filter that only cost about $1.50 is going to ensure that your HVAC system runs properly. And the last thing I want to do is put a more restrictive filter in, like one of these, that is going to choke your airflow and make your system not run. My whole job is to let your system run as good as possible. Now, if I walk away and you go, ah, screw that, I'm gonna take that cheap filter DHART put in out and I'm gonna put in my nice allergen filter. Go ahead, it's your house, it's your money, it's your HVAC system. But just know that there's a high likelihood that it's not good for your system. Um, and for the people that are wondering, the only way, you know, I could make a universal assumption because we service hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of systems. And most real professionals know in our industry that almost all homes are not sized properly, airflow is not right, and that they're restrictive. And that you just can't have a allergen or a higher restrictive filter, or what we would call the higher MERV rating. The higher the MERV rating, the more restrictive that filter will be. Um, there are some exceptions, but you know, if we get there and service your equipment, we're gonna know without a doubt, this system has adequate airflow, we could put a more restrictive filter in without worrying about any repercussions. Uh, for example, here is a great filter. This comes, we install these with all of our HVAC installs. Um, nearly every single one of them, there are some exceptions where we don't have the space or the room to be able to fit one of these in, but 99% of our HVAC installations where we do a full system replacement come with these. Now, if you notice, Let's go back to this cheaper filter. It's thin, air can easily pass through, it will remove larger things that are coming into the air, um, you know, larger dust particles, 
uh, bugs, you know, l larger items, but it's not going to remove things like, you know, that cause allergies and whatnot. But it's flat. Notice how flat it is. And that's because air passes through here just fine, so we don't have to compensate for that. Now, when we get to fancier filters or nicer filters, you'll notice that they have these grooves in it that come in and out. Uh, hopefully that picks it up. See those grooves? The reason those grooves happen is that actually creates more surface area. So if I were to open this filter up, it, these grooves, when you flatten it out, turn into a much larger surface area filter than this filter does. And so that's why they have these grooves so that it can expand the surface area, allowing more air to pass through, um, which can sometimes allow you to have better airflow. We install these on our HVAC installs, because if you notice, they're five inches thick, the grooves are massive. So this allows for a substantial amount of air to flow through your HVAC system, but then allows us to put a more restrictive filter in so that we can improve your indoor air quality while also improving your air flow. So we can give you a better filter uh, without jeopardizing airflow so that your system can one run great and you can have great indoor air quality. So there's this fine line. Universally, rule of thumb, assume that your system has terrible airflow and that you cannot have an allergen filter. There are other things you can do to your HVAC system to help improve it. A lot of times, you know, it's going to be having a larger filter um, or having us come in and put in a larger filter rack that will accommodate something like this so that you can have a better filter in your home. But other than that, most of the time we show up and the homeowner has drastically choked their HVAC system, um, not allowing proper air to flow. So now I wanna talk about the airflow a little bit and what happens when you choke down an HVAC system. So if you put one of these filters in, um, this isn't even an allergen filter, this is kind of in between the cheap filter and an allergen filter. Um, but even these will often restrict the system too much and cause problems. But when we apply this into your filter rack, and it, let's just assume it's restrictive, so it's slowing that air down a lot. Um, when it slows that air down, what happens is, so in your HVAC system, you have a, your furnace, and then you have what's the top of it called your, your evaporator coil. That is what removes heat from your air and is the critical part of your air conditioning system. So let's just assume you're in the summer and we slow down that airflow that flows cr across your evaporator coil, which removes heat from your air and gives you cool air. By slowing that airflow down, you actually make the air inside that's going across your evaporator coil colder. And then when your system turns off, it exacerbates the temperature differences. So your system will, will become warmer to colder, warmer to colder, warmer to colder on every on off cycle throughout the summertime. Well, what happens to metal when we have these exacerbated expansions and contractions? Um, that's what it does. The metal expands and contracts because of the exacerbated temperature differences. And so what will happen is you, your, your HVAC system inside has something called a heat exchanger and then your evaporator coil. Both of those are chocked full of welded joints from the manufacturer. Those joints will prematurely fail because of that exacerbated expansion and contraction because you've slowed the airflow, airflow down. So in the, um, in the wintertime when you're running your heat and you slow that airflow down, as the air passes through your heat exchanger, which is what gives the, passes the heat off to the air inside your home, uh, that air heats up drastically when you slowed it down with your you know, restrictive filter. And that, again, creates those much elongated temperature differences from when it shuts off, it cools off, and then it turns on and then it heats back up more than what it's designed to. 
that causes that expansion and contraction of welded joints and creates pre premature failure on major components inside of your HVAC system. So, err on the side of caution. Put in a basic filter. If you have a basic filter, change it once a month. They're pretty cheap. If you really want to know what you can get away with or how restrictive you can be, you need a professional like DeHart Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, where we're going to come out, we're going to drill some holes in your ductwork, and we're going to measure something called static pressure, and we're going to know how the air flows into your system. Then we're going to know how restrictive you can or can't be on your filtration. So that's it. I hope that I did a decent job at articulating some of those details. Um, if you have questions, comment below. I'll answer them. Uh, if you have a direct message, holler at your boy. I'll answer them. Um, if you really want to know how your system's performing, I got you. Hit me up. We'll come out and take care of you. All right, well, this is Lawrence, DeHart Plumbing, Heating and Cooling. Thank you for watching. Have a good one, guys.